What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome to my free to play guide for Abyssal Infernal and Lunatic of Formortis and Goto's Mythic Hero Battle with free to play units and absolutely no skill inheritance. So for the Infernal difficulty, you don't really need any kind of sacred seal, just the base kit of these units and on this map I don't really have much use of Regan so that's why I'm using Sather in place of her. So again, Regan is going to be cheering on the squad from the barracks and uh, we're going to be going in turn 1 because... For Mortis does have the far safe skill and he also has the bonfire pre-charge so not really the easiest unit to tank and he is going to be a problematic unit so we're going to be going ahead with Sather and taking out the sword fighter here and keep in mind that for Mortis does have nightmare skill so you want to act with your units before you attack him and he survives and he is going to be surviving <laughs> uh, with the bulk that he has got so you can just dance up your Sather have everyone acted and then attack for Mortis for a bit of damage and just chip him down to very low HP. And this is going to be really helpful because we can take out these two mage enemies with Sather no problem with her high resistance and then for Mortis is going to be coming over here. Um, we cannot really take him out right now but we can just take out this Lance Flyer because that Lance Flyer was in the sky and for Mortis cannot exactly fly. So we are going to be dancing up Sather and then just going to be having her over here. And I can just have my air and ash over here, right beside Peony. And now, um, what you're going to be doing is basically having ash over here against these assault troop armor units. Um, so we can just have ash like this, and then you can just dance up your ear and have her in the range of this uh, red cavalier who does have that fox tome. And we can be just over here with Sather. So, Ash is going to be taking care of, uh, Ash is going to be taking care of this Lance Flyer with Brave Lance. And Air takes care of that Red Mage Cavalier pretty easily. That, uh, Lance Flyer does have the Tempest skill, so that's why they are able to advance. And this Assault Troop Armor is also going to be advancing. And here comes for Mortis. So, now what you want to do is actually go ahead and just take out this Near Safe Fridge. And make the way for Ash. And then you want to just dance up um, Sather over here and then go over here on this tile and take out this blue Fafnir. So now this thief is going to be logged in to attack Ash and we can just have here not in the range of Formortis who does have that pawn fire which is going to be absolutely cooking anyone here. Uh, this um, thief does have lethality speaking of cooking. Um, but Ash is going to be able to survive and now Goto is just going to be having himself sandwiched between these two enemies. So now what you want to do is go ahead and take out the Sword Knight here uh, with your Iceberg. And then you want to dance up your Sather and then just take out this Goto. We do have the Tempo effect by transforming so his Guard for doesn't really matter. And then you can finally have your Sather in front of this Thief. And it is an odd turn, so we're going to be able to end his action using our future focused. And here can easily tank this green Fafnir for days. Uh, doesn't really do much damage. Now, the conundrum lies in the fact that we need to take out four Mortis at the end of the day. Um, but we don't really have the special charged up. So you want to just leave your Sather in place here so that the sturdy stance green Fafnir can charge up the Iceberg of... Um, of Sather and then we can just go over here with our other units and just take out that thief really easily and you definitely want to have um here and everyone else out of the way so that the green Fafnir can simply attack Sather and then we can go ahead and take out Formortis with our Iceberg so his damage reduction doesn't really matter here when we have the Iceberg and then we can just dance up and take out the screen Fafnir with Bonfire of Ash. So that is going to be the Infernal difficulty done easily with the free to play units, no skill inheritance and no secret seal needed. And now let's move on to the big bad Abyssal difficulty. So for the Abyssal difficulty, you're definitely going to be needing a bit of oomph. And for that oomph, we're going to be having Drive Attack Sacred Seal on Peony and also Attack Rest Solo on Sather. And then you also need to have Attack Tactic Sacred Seal on your ear. And finally, Ash with attack defense form. Um, any kind of other sacred seal that is going to be giving you a bit of attack or defense is going to be working out fine, honestly. Um, so even if you don't have the max version of this form sacred seal, it should still be fine for you. And you can just work out with the version 2, honestly. 
So on the Abyssal difficulty, let us begin. And with the Sacred Seals, we're definitely going to be able to just hit a lot, a lot harder. So the route that we're going to be taking on the Abyssal difficulty is going to be changing a bit, but not exactly to turn one. So we're going to be going ahead and just attacking the Sword Fighter over here. And then we're going to be having just uh, Sather danced up. And then you want to have Ash over here so that he can provide the opening retainer um, attack buff. And then we can go ahead and attack for Mortis for as much damage as we can. And because of future focus, we actually end the action of both mages because we have the same space between Sather and these two mages. And now you want to take out this Fire Sweep Lance Flyer who is not going to be getting saved by For Mortis. And we can just dance up Sather and just take out For Mortis by attacking this Dream Mage. And because he does not survive, he doesn't really end the action of Ash here, which is definitely pretty great. And we can just retreat a bit and have air like this. And because of the follow up negation effect that Sather provides, Keen is actually not going to get doubled and is going to be surviving this Dream Mage as we take out the Speed Preempt. Uh, mage flyer with Zither and now we have a red cavalier mage showing up so we can just go ahead and take out this dream mage over here uh, with Zither and then just have Ash move over here and we can just dance up and also take out this red cavalier pretty easily so that is going to be done and we can just end our turn as uh, Zither is going to be ending the action of this axe knight and the other fridges are going to be attacking along with this lance dragon. And because of attack defense form sacred seal, we're going to be able to uh, damage them really, really heavily. The sword armor is extremely bulky. So the sword armor actually doesn't go down just yet, but that's fine. And um, to know that you're on the right path and the solution is going to be working out for you is pretty much going to be the fact that here on this turn, uh, Peony recovers HP, so you really want Peony to recover HP here and not Ash. So make sure that she doesn't take that much damage, and that's why I've got Attack Defense Form Sacred Seal. So that is going to be your hint, um, because the next turn, Sather definitely needs to heal up the HP. So now we're going to be going ahead and simply just taking out this uh, Sword Knight over here really easily. And then we can just go over here and take out this green Fafnir. And retreat with Ash, and also retreat with Air by dancing her up. Um, and then this Red Thief is going to be making his way. And by recovering HP with Zather, you actually have enough HP to survive this um, Red Thief over here. So you want to go ahead and simply attack this Red Thief. Um, and it doesn't really matter if he does have the Weapon Strangle advantage. Zather is powerful enough. And then you want to have your Ash over here. And then dance up Sather and simply have her in front of this axe armor and just T-pose in front of him so that his action gets ended. And Goto is not going to be able to attack anyone. We do need Ash transform for the next turn to get the tempo effect from her uh, beast transformation. So that's why you definitely need to move air a bit uh, far away. And Ash can easily take care of the blue Fafnir. So here comes Goto. And before we actually go ahead and attack Goto, we need to clear this uh, near save armor unit from the way. And then that's um, with uh, Pini and then attack with Ash and just kill Goto with Ash. So Cow just using bonfire to neutralize that iceberg of Goto. So that is going to be the abyssal difficulty. Let me know if you have any kind of trouble. Um, I'll try my best to help you and other people will as well. And now let's move on to the Lunatic Difficulty. On the Lunatic Difficulty, you don't really need any kind of Sacred Seal or any kind of Skill Inheritance. And we actually do not really have one of the Mage Flyers here with that Speed Preempt. So it definitely makes things a bit easier. So you want to start off the same and just take out the Sword Fighter pretty easily. And then just go ahead and give your best shot at damaging uh, for Mortis before he can transform. So on Lunatic, we can bring him down to 11 HP and it's fine if your turn gets ended here. Um, we don't really need Ash to do anything here. And we can just take out this Green Mage and clear the way. So here comes for Mortis and now we can simply go ahead and take out this Lance Flyer. And then also take out for Mortis at the same time because he's at very low HP. And then we can move up with Ash and simply have Air all the way on the left side. So here these armors are going to be advancing and now we can just go ahead and take out this Red Cavalier 
and then we can just have Ash um, move one space ahead and then dance up Sather with Peeny and then just have our units over here. Um, so Ash is going to be able to do a great amount of job here by tanking multiple units at the same time. This Lance Flyer is not going to be surviving and these fridges are also not going to be surviving here. So the good thing on Lunatic is that we can actually take out Goto pretty easily. So you want to go ahead and simply just take out this near save armor unit um, quite easily. And then you just want to take out this Red Thief. And then you want to go ahead and dance up Ash and just take out Goto with your Bonfire. Which is going to be doing quite a lot of damage. And then we can just go over here um, as these Fafnirs approach us. And now we just finish off the job with taking out this blue Fafnir and then finishing off with Sather. So that is going to be the free to play guide for, for Mortis and Goto's Mythic Hero Battle. Um, make sure to share this video with your friends if they're trying to beat the map. And if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and a comment, helps me tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using super thanks down below or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more free videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as that poor sword fighter at sort of the map. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.